Christmas, everyone, and welcome back to a new ASMR gaming news Fortnite daily item shop video. So let's take a look what's new on the item shop. So, okay, Whiteout is back. Bolts, Dominion, okay, we, Venturian, I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, okay. What in the world? Psycho Bundle is back. What? What? I thought this was going to be one of those skins that does not come back. Wow, a lot of people are going to be happy about this. Okay, okay. If you're picking anything up today, be sure to use code ASMR Gaming. This is a very good item shop. And by the way, you can probably tell Recon Expert is gone. So hopefully you got Recon Expert. Who knows, maybe it's going to be another like two years until it comes back again now. Wow, that was crazy. So, Psycho Bundle. It just says, hey yo, in the description, part of the Mayhem set, it's a Borderlands skin. There was a special event in uh, previous seasons of Fortnite with this skin. Entire area, area of the map was dedicated to Borderlands, so this is kind of special. Comes with the Claptrap back bling look, animated, moving, it's Claptrap. Hyperion store bot friends not included. <laughs> and then it comes with the harvesting tools. Psycho buzz axes. These look crazy. Look at these things. Maniacal laughter ensues or intensifies. Um No unique animation when you strike, but the blades here are just rotating in a circle very, very fast, so a little bit of animation. Uh, I do not like the sound these make, so they don't make a good sound, and there's not a unique animation, but they look very, very cool. Wow, this was a legendary skin that I was not expecting to come back, or legendary set, because it's, you know, epic skin, epic back bling with harvesting tool, 2,000 V-Bucks, so worth getting for sure, especially if you're a Borderlands fan. Uh, Venturian is back. I don't remember the last time we got the Venturian skin. Anyone in the comments know? It's been a while for sure. Adventure awaits. Venturian, part of the Venture set. So yeah, he looks like an explorer or something. I'm not entirely sure what his like backstory is in Fortnite or anything like that. Uh, I do like how shiny the skin is though. There's a lot of gold colors. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's why they brought it back. The gold colors actually go with the season, you know, <laughs> the theme of the season. Venturian cape, nice cape by the way, very flowy, look at this. Like the colors, this cape might be a little bit difficult to combo with though. I feel like it only goes well with the skin, maybe a few others, I'm not entirely sure, but wow, he is back. I don't remember the last time I saw this on the item shop, it's been a while, definitely been a while. So I'm sure some of you are going to be picking this one up today for sure. Ventura. Wow. Now this one I have not seen in even a longer time than this one. I feel like Venturian maybe came back once on like the item shop or something. I have not seen her in a very long time. So yeah, she's back too. Destined for Greatness, part of the Venture set introduced in Season 4. You know what? I might actually get this one. Ventura cape. She has like a cape. It's just slightly smaller than this one, it seems. See, this one seems a little bit longer. This one seems a little bit smaller. Maybe that's just me. It just seems like it. Take initiative. Ventura cape. Ventura skin. Wow. Have not seen this in a bit. Let me know in the comments when's the last time we got the Venture set. It feels like a while, especially this one. And the official harvesting tool, airfoil. This is actually kind of rare. Streamline for optimal aerodynamics, part of the venture set. No unique animation when you strike, sadly. The front is illuminated, though it's blue there at the end. Uh, oh, and then this end, too. No unique animation. I do like the sound this makes, though. Very, very nice sound. Uh, and design looks kind of weird, but it goes with the set. Kind of matches their head. If you notice their head the armor up there. That's what this looks like, so that's kind of cool. Streamlined for optimal aerodynamics, 800 V-Bucks, not bad. So over here we got the, wait, what? What, what, 
Okay, I was over here. I don't know. Okay. Dark Triceratops is back. Uh, we get these way too often now. Sink your teeth into darkness. Two edit styles. If you like dinosaurs, this is a skin for you. A mystery from prehistory. Two edit styles for the back bling. Dark hatchling. Then we got Dark Rex. If you don't like regular Rex, you got Dark Rex. Even cheaper than regular Rex, by the way. Dark King of the Dino Guard. Part of the Dino Guard set. Uh, two edit styles. I like the purple one. And back bling. Dark Scaly as well. A little dark around the edges. And then there's the official harvesting tool. Bound with primal power. No unique animation. I like the sound these make, and they look very weird because they're literally bones that you use as a harvesting tool. So, uh, kind of interesting. Bound with primal power. And over here we got Burning Beast Glider. This is a crazy glider. Legendary, a thousand five hundred B bucks soaring from the underworld. I would get this one but as i always mention this is what you're going to be looking at every time you glide into you know your landing spot i don't know if i want to look at this tail and hooves every single time but the front here is really cool the wings and everything soaring from the underworld and burning blades fear the hot seer of hot metal very very loud nice slicing sound though no unique animation and they look very cool not too bad. Over here we got Malice. She's fairly popular. Legendary skin, 2,000 V-Bucks. Misery is her playground. Uh, she has some horns. Uh, clothing is on fire, as you can see here on the sides. That's what makes the skin kind of special, is the burning effect. She has the Malice wings, which are also on fire. Simply malicious. And then over here we got Dominion, who always reminds me of Devil Jin from uh, Tekken. If any of you play the Tekken games, he really does look like Devil Jin. Set the world on fire, part of the diabolical set. He has like three horns on his head on each side here, so six in total. Uh, he has bullet, bullet wounds on his chest here, so I don't know what that's about. Chains on the arm, which are on fire. Uh, fire on the back of his clothing here so he's kind of burning just like the misery skin over here I mean malice skin and set the world on fire he comes with the flame sigil back bling though which is kind of cool got like these runes look like they're from Kevin the cube actually the underworld beckons and then there's the official wrap which looks like something out of Doctor Strange for real it looks like his magic Doctor Strange in the Avengers movies burning glyph it's animated it looks pretty cool i recommend it especially if you you know get the set over here we got white out white out she used to come back a little bit more often now we don't get her as much but it's still you know fairly frequently good skin good skin breaking away from the pack part of the vanishing point set introduced in season five wow i remember when this came out i got it on my main account which isn't, which isn't even my main account now. She has two edit styles. I like the helmet one, though. She comes with the ignition back bling, which is an awesome sword back bling. If you don't have one, pick up Whiteout, because she has a really good one. You can combo this with a lot of other skins. Start it up, part of the Vanishing Point set. Honestly, very worth it. She looks cool. Kind of reminds me of Kill Bill. If only the skin was, like, yellow with black stripes instead of entirely white, it would be a Kill Bill reference, but still, nice, nice skin. And yeah, I know that the Kill Bill reference was to the Bruce Lee movie, so yeah, it's a reference of a reference of a reference, but still. Uh, over here we got Flappy Flyer. Keep it Flappy, part of the foul play set. Flappy Flyer. It's weird, okay. So yeah, you literally hatch out of an egg, and this reminds me of my chicken companion in Minecraft Dungeons, and I will be playing more Minecraft Dungeons very, very soon. I can't wait. I love the game. I hope you all love it as well. So for 800 V-Bucks, it's an okay glider. Uh, it looks crazy. It's wacky, very weird, not too expensive, and usually basic gliders are 500 or 800 V-Bucks, and this is not a basic glider, so you get something special and unique and if you like chickens this is definitely one to get keep it flappy uh bold stance is back 
someone told me this is like a South African dance. Uh, someone can correct me again in the comments if I got that wrong, but either way, this is so awesome. It's so cool. I didn't even know it was like based on a South African dance. I thought it was awesome, and I got it. Stand your ground and break it down. Bold stance. For 500 V-Bucks, it's worth it. Very worth it. Uh, the music is really catchy. I like this little like leg movement here with the arm. It's just nice. It's great to do when you get an elimination or when you win the game. I should equip Bold Stance again. It's a good one. Good emote to have. Glad to see that back. Finger wag emote. Not today, my friend. Not today. Uh, not much to say about this one. It's very cheap. 200 V-Bucks, but... It's also very, very simple. So unless you're a person that just wants to finger wag on every single kill you get, like you eliminate someone in arena and finger wag on them, there's no other reason to have this one except for like that. So if you like to troll players, get them angry. I guess finger wagging is the mode to get. But get bold stance, it's way better. Dragon Axe is back. I haven't seen Dragon Axe in a little bit. Forged in Dragon Fire. This is the one that I use with Wukong and Scarlet Defender skins on my other account. This is a good one. Uh, no unique animation on this, but it looks very, very cool. I like the red and the gold colors. Kind of reminds me of Lucky Landing, of course. Uh, love it. Nice sound and very cool design. So for 800 V-Bucks, honestly, uh... I think it's like my favorite harvesting tool on the item shop today, actually. If I'm going to be honest, worth getting for sure. And then lastly, Pathfinder's back, which we get her way too often recently. Uncommon Pathfinder outfit. I like the green shirt, though. That gives this one something more than just like a basic style, you know? It would look very, very basic if the shirt was like gray or something, but it's green, so it kind of stands out. It's nice. Uh, for OGs, if you like the skin, it's from Season 1. Back it, back when there were like only five skins that you could buy in the game, and this was one of them. Commando, Break Bomber, this one. So yeah, nice to see her back though, Pathfinder. And yeah, that's everything on the item shop today, so thank you all for listening, for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. So long, and...